Hungary has long been a thorn in the side of the European Union. And now, as the campaign is underway for next June's European elections, the Hungarian government has launched a personal attack against European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen, putting up billboards showing her alongside Alex Soros, the son of the liberal Hungarian-born financier George Soros, another favourite target. The slogan reads, let's not dance to their tunes. Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban stepped up his attacks on the EU in an address to his Fidesz Party Congress this month. I am convinced that today in Brussels, Europe is being destroyed and led to its ruin. European Council President Charles Michel visited Orban for talks Monday. Neither spoke to the media. The EU is continuing to withhold around $24 billion from the bloc's post-COVID stimulus fund over concerns about the rule of law in Hungary, including the independence of the judiciary and freedom of the press. In a letter to Michel last week, Orban reportedly threatened to block a $50 billion EU aid package for Ukraine. He also said he would veto Ukraine's future membership in the bloc unless EU leaders agree to review their entire strategy of support for Kyiv. Analysts say the policy could backfire. Orban is increasingly isolated within the European Union and it hurts. It hurts not only symbolically, but it hurts economically as well. The uh, Hungarian uh, economy is not in a very good shape and the lack of the EU funds and the frozen EU funds due to rule of law concerns but also due to the government's uh, outlier position in the Russia-Ukraine issue and also its, its uh, EU bashing uh, clearly played an important role in, in freezing these funds. Brussels released $1 billion of the frozen funds last week in an effort to overcome Hungary's objections, but it's not clear if that will be enough. EU heads of state are due to meet December 14th to discuss opening formal talks on Ukraine's membership application. Hungary has said there is no way those talks can proceed with a country at war and has urged Kyiv to seek peace talks with Moscow. Ukraine has said it will not open negotiations until Russian forces leave its territory. Ukrainians just don't believe that Russia can be trusted and they, that's why they see the EU and NATO membership as the only security guarantee not just for Ukraine but for sustainable peace and stability in Europe. Any blocking of EU aid or veto of Ukraine's membership application would raise the stakes further in the increasingly bitter dispute between Budapest and Brussels. Analysts say Orban could be emboldened by the recent election of like-minded leaders in Slovakia and the Netherlands, who have also voiced scepticism of EU support for Ukraine. Henry Ridgewell, VOA News, London.